Hi guys, my name is Samantha and this is an intermediate speaking class. Um, today we're going to be talking about vegetarianism and um, what are some reasons why people become vegetarian, what are some other types of diets that are out there, um, what it's like in your country, what sort of foods you eat, don't eat. Um, so the first two minutes of class is reserved for premium users and people who have reservations. So if you have a reservation and you want to make sure that you get a seat, you can use it now. Um, also, if you're a premium member, you can click the blue button and come on in. Um, if you're interested in becoming a premium member, you can go to verbling.com slash get reservations or verbling.com slash premium and all of the information is there. So there's lots of different ways you can get reservations like liking the Facebook page, um, inviting your friends to come hang out with you on Verbling. Hi, Karar. Karar, Hi, are you doing? How are you? Hey. Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Cool. So yeah, as soon as the button's green, you guys can come on in and hang out with us, me and Karar. <laughs> Where are you from, Kara? I forget. I'm from Iraq. Okay, cool. I'm the wise one in, in the last class on Kokolingo. Oh, okay. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Um, oops. So I'm going to give you my warm-up question. So as soon as the button's green, you guys can come on in. I think you have maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> so as soon as it lights up, you can come hang out with us. Um, again, if you want to join classes early, check out burgling.com slash get reservations to come in early. Hi, Anastasia. Hi. Do you hear me? Yep. Yes, no. Because, uh, like, in my, um, uh, my Google is uh, loading. And sometimes when it's loading, it's, like, muted. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay right now. I can hear you. Okay, that's fine. All good. <laughs> nice topic for today. Thanks. I'm curious, actually. I'm really curious about um, what it's kind of like in everyone's country. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So here's our warm-up question. Um, just while everyone's joining, tell me your name, where you're from, and what the typical diet is like in your country. Or what's your diet like? Are you a vegetarian? Are you vegan? Do you eat a lot of meat? Are there any things you can't eat? Um, so just kind of introduce yourself and then we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay. So let's start with Karar because you were the first one here. Karar? Wake up. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Unmute your microphone. He was there a minute ago. Maybe he's having trouble. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Manuel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Manuel. Um, I am from Ethiopia, but I live in the United States right now. I live in Maryland, close to Washington, D.C., and I am trying to improve my English as well as my Spanish. I... Your English sounds like perfect, by the way. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, it's not though, um, but I, I have some American friends and I spend lots of time with them. So, I uh, the typical diet in Ethiopia is very. We eat a lot of meat and we eat um, like tortillas is similar to Spanish culture, but um, as far as food is concerned, but it's a little bit different. Um, I, yeah, yeah. It's um, we eat a lot of chicken and a uh, lot of a uh, uh, lot of lamb as well, um, and uh, cow, beef, beef as well. 
the uh, and yeah, so yeah, I I'm living in the United States right now, and I am having a uh, very good time uh, mm -hmm. learning English and Spanish. Are you in a Starbucks or something? Uh, say again. I'm sorry. Are you in a Starbucks or a coffee shop or something? Yes, ma'am. I can hear their, I, I hear their yeah. music. Yes, yeah. I, I'll mute. I'll uh, mute my mic. That's <laughs> oh, okay. I just those coffee shops always play Adele, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can hear Adele. I like yeah. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you still eat the same kinds of foods now that you're in the states, or do you eat more different American food and stuff since you're there? I have been trying the uh, the American foods. Uh, I think it's it's very it's very good. It's uh, how do you say uh, lots of fat. <laughs> yes, very fatty. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I try to keep eating a healthy diet and um, eating green leaves and salad and such. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot though. It's very tasty food, even though it's sometimes it's not good for me, but it's very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Anastasia's curious how long you've lived in the States. I've lived here for a little over one year now. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah, your accent is really good. <laughs> so you must uh, hang out with you. your friends a lot and pick up their accents. Yes, yes. It's funny because I learned. Uh, the lots of bad words first. <laughs> yeah, that was but, the same uh, when I moved to France. They all just wanted to tell me all the swear words. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have to be very careful because I don't want to offend uh, some other Americans, you know. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks, Manuel. Uh, but yeah, I have a question. Do you have before an accent, a Philippine accent, and then maybe you change to American accent, or just you're just immediately have an American accent. Well, no, no. No? I, I, I learned some English in school in Ethiopia, uh -huh. but I, um, I tried to perfect my English, my, my uh, excuse me, my American accent because uh, because I like to I like to speak the new language with the accent of the country. So okay. I, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So like I, I learn Sp uh, Spanish as well, and I try to speak Spanish with the Spain accent, and I try to speak English with um, not English accent, but the American accent as well. Yeah. But sometimes, yeah, yeah. So sometimes little things will come through. That's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, they, they think I'm American, but they uh, then they ask me. They they I. Uh, I slipped with my accent, and they realized that I'm not from America. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool. Thanks, Manuel. Um, Thank Anastasia. Yep. Oh, so, uh, okay. And just introduction. Well, uh, my name is Anastasia. I'm from Kazakhstan, but I'm Russian. Well, the typical diet I hear is eat to meat. You know, Kazakh people uh, love to eat meat very much, you know, often, but I'm vegetarian, so I don't eat meat, but I do eat dairy products and fish. Okay, you do eat fish. Yeah, do eat fish. So I'm a uh, vegetarian, I'm not vegan. Vegan is um, a person who doesn't eat meat, fish, or dairy products. Oh, you know. I thought fish was included in vegetarian. It's not. Really? Because, like, uh, no, uh, there are different types of vegetarians, you know. There are, yeah. like, lacto-vegetarian, there are many types of vegetarian. But mm -hmm. I eat fish. And other seafood? Um, yeah, but not, but not so much, like, you know, because we Mostly don't have, like, here, like, uh, Yeah, that's products. the word, right? Pescatarian or it's something, that's what I was thinking, because I thought vegetarian was, like, no meat, no fish. I'm going to Google I guess, that. Pes I guess so. Pescatarian. Yeah. There it is. Pescatarian. Okay, but I'll But it's easier that. to say you're vegetarian, right? Because if you tell someone, I'm pescatarian. Pescatarian. That. <laughs> yeah. So... Vegetarian with some fish. Uh huh. And they will just, you know, just. But usually, I, I do not eat uh, fish, but I try to because I need some uh, proteins 
for mm-hmm. my body to 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 balance diet. That's why. Yeah, fish is really good for you, so I can see why you would go to fish for the protein. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just kind of copied and pasted from Wikipedia. Uh huh. <laughs> Pescatarian diet shares many of its components with vegetarian, but unlike vegetarian, it includes fish. So my old roommate w- was the same way um, when I was in university. Uh-huh. She, would, she would only eat fish, no other meat, and I was always like, you're not a vegetarian. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. And I remember we looked this up like four years ago and found the same thing. So. Okay, now I will know. I'm a but you can, you, it's okay, okay, Anastasia, we're not trying to like attack you. <laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but it's easier to just say you're vegetarian. Yeah. No one yeah. knows. Because you're people. It's easier for that me, way. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, I will know exactly how I'm cold in English. But it's very common to eat a lot of meat where you're from in Kazakhstan. Yeah, it's very common because, like you know, Kazakh people, uh, the local people, not usually just originally they, uh, they just were nomads. I'm not. I'm not sure if I say it right. No man. No man. Yep. No man. Yeah. No man. And so they just um, have a lot of cattle, cattle, and that's why they just eat a lot of meat. They mm-hmm. do not eat so much uh, vegetables and fruits. Uh, so they kind of eat very fat uh, meat. But I prefer uh, fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Anastasia. Um, Mm -hmm. Alfredo, are you there? (laughs) Yeah, sorry. My my English is very bad. (laughs) Sorry. It's okay. So, um, Alfredo, I asked you to introduce yourself and tell us what the typical diet is like, where you're from. I'm I'm from Brazil, but I live in Chile. Um, um, Maybe five minutes ago, uh, I was in in Beverly, but in Spanish classes with with Manuel that that is here also. Mm-hmm. Uh, but how I told you, my my English is uh, I, I really I I I I put the English classes, but my English is very bad. I I, I don't think that I'm able to to I, to this class. I don't know. I think maybe your English is better than you think. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> You can stay in class. You can stay, and if, if you can't follow, then you can just listen if you want. Okay. Yeah, but okay. Um, can you tell us about wh- what people eat in your country? Um, yeah, about foods and dinner? Yeah, what kind of food do people usually eat? Um, are there a lot of vegetarians where you're from? Yeah, a lot of vegetables. Um, but a lot of people like to eat... Uh, also, uh, meat, um, uh, um, rice, and everything. <laughs> okay, and what about you? Are you vegetarian, or do you eat meat? A uh, few, few meats. I don't like to, to eat a lot of meat. No, Just I like I like uh, vegetables. Uh, uh, yeah, vegetables. I like more. Okay, great. Yeah, pro- pro- proteins. Okay, cool. Thanks, Alfredo. Um, so you do eat meat, but not too much meat, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay, cool. Um, Anastasia, about the yes. friends thing, I think that that comes when you do the one-on-one conversations. Okay. And then you and then. can like, add as a friend or something. Okay. Um, I actually was looking at that feature on the chat, and I'm um, going to talk to the guys and see if there's a way that you guys can add each other as friends. Yes. Like on Facebook, you know how yeah. you... Yeah. Because that would be kind of cool if you could have, okay. like, friend yeah. chat. But I think right now it's just for the one-on-one, like the people okay. that you... Because I also find this one one by one, and then I want maybe it's some not other people, you know, which I know, but I can do that. Okay, just yeah, we'll yeah. try Facebook. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, hi, Alex. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, could you introduce yourself and tell us um, what is the food like where you're from? Are there a lot yeah. of vegetarians? Yeah, what I'm from you? Russia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, there are a lot of vegetarians. I know a lot of vegetarians. I'd like to try. 
maybe someday. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm still a normal food eater. <laughs> You're a meat eater? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Everything eater. <laughs> so you would try being vegetarian though, maybe? Yes, yes, I would okay. try. All right, cool. Um, hi, Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed Nemo, are you there? Yeah, I am. Can you hear me? Yep. So, okay. could you introduce yourself well, and um, tell us I'm what the cuisine is like in the country? Do you have any okay. vegetarians where well, you're from? Uh, Ahmed, I'm from Egypt. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have uh, a lot of vegetarian people. You know, here in Egypt, it's kind of hard to find someone that uh, doesn't eat meat at all. <laughs> we like to eat meat here, and we like soft food, and just mellow and a lot of uh, uh, special cuisine with uh, uh, tomato soup. We like to. Uh, <laughs> So there's not very many you know, vegetarians. Some kind of no, no, there, there is not a. Uh, uh, all, all of my life, I never, uh, I never find anyone vegetarian. Oh wow, I, really? I have no one in my family vegetarian. Even my relatives or my, my friends, I never meet anyone uh, vegetarian at all here in Egypt. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I've met a lot yeah. of vegetarians, there but is, that's uh, interesting. Some, so you've never in your entire life met uh, anyone people, who's vegetarian? Uh, who, uh, yeah, but, but I hear that uh, there is some, uh, <laughs> some of them here in Egypt, but I really didn't meet them, meet anyone. All I know is I uh, like to meet, like to eat meat a lot. Very cool. And you know, we uh, we like to make uh, a barbecue parties, a barbecue parties. Cool. To eat meat. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of barbecues and too in we, uh, where I'm from in Canada. Uh, and you know. Yeah, and it's, I eat meat. I, I don't think I could ever be vegetarian, honestly. <laughs> I, I would I probably would try, but it, I might only last like a week. I might be able to do what Anastasia is doing, where you eat fish, <laughs> yeah. maybe. But I don't know, probably not. Well, actually, you know, uh, for a while I didn't eat fish. But okay. My mom, yeah, I didn't eat fish because I'm not into fish too much. But my mom, you, you know, just say you must you must eat because it's just for health. And yeah, say, okay. for the protein. Yeah, proteins, because I cannot take them from uh, beans, you know, enough. So mm -hmm. that's why I started eating fish. <laughs> so it wasn't because you had like a dying urge to eat meat. It was because you needed the protein. Well, actually, if I would like to eat mm -hmm. meat, I will. You know, okay. It's not, so it's like, not. You're not it's restricting not, yourself. You yeah, just... I'm not restricting myself, but, but I, I don't have a desire to eat meat right now, maybe for three years. Before okay. in high school, I was for one, I was a vegetarian for one year, and then uh, when we, uh, with my friends, with family friends, went to the barbecue, and the smell of shish kebabs was pretty awesome, so I decided to eat meat, and then I was like, eating mink for a while and then I back to vegetarian again so it's like okay. it would be very hard to resist the smell of shish kebabs yes exactly <laughs> and it was delicious I remember the time but now I go near the shish kebabs well it smells awesome you know this but still uh, yeah. I do not eat meat <laughs> okay. so kind of like that um, Okay, Wolfgang Icarus, I have a feeling you have a different name, and I can't remember. Uh, my name is Shane. Shane, I forget every time <laughs> I should, like, write it down. Um, no worries. Okay, Shane, so uh, can you introduce yourself and tell us what it's like in your country? Uh, I'm from China, and uh, we, uh, our diet uh, doesn't have a lot of meat to begin with. Um, and uh, lately, I, I think uh, there have been a lot of um, uh, vegetarians, but um, I I think that uh, for me, 
I I'd like to to be a vegetarian, and uh, my my meal mostly consists of veg vegetables. I hardly eat any meat. Not not because uh because it's not delicious. Because I lo love eating meat. It's just that it's kind of hard to prepare, and uh, I get stressed out for eating beef because of the Macau disease. And uh, I I don't know why it's it's stressing me out every time I eat beef, even though it's very. Worry delicious. that you might have got beef from a mad cow. Yeah. So and uh, you know I I I spent the the uh, two weeks after eating the beef and worrying about you know oh did I get mad cow disease, and uh, so I I I tend not to you know eat any meat. Oh wow! I don't does mad is mad cow disease still like prominent? I you, you never know because our government doesn't tell us anything. Uh, yeah. I know, like maybe in Western country, it's more regulated, but here we we don't know. Yeah. And, uh, I, yeah. I can see why you'd be a little bit worried about, or really worried about that. <laughs> and uh, I can understand why, because you're right. I mean, they they don't. If there's not a lot of regulation on that sort of thing. Have Have you guys seen the news about the uh, the dead pigs? Like, no. Uh, like in do China. Do you want to? <laughs> it, it's. Yeah, well, they're they're just saying that they found like over twenty thousand some dead pigs uh, along the river, like uh, uh, near near river, like it's it's uh, going from going down from upstream, like it wash. How, how would you describe that? Uh, it it was Nearly like all the three thousand dead pigs found in Shanghai River. Yeah. They they got washed down to the downstream from the upstream. Yeah, you say they were washed up. Yeah, washed up. Yeah. Yeah. Here's an article. There's a bunch of different ones I just googled, but I found one on the Guardian, and I like that website. So, um, they've got some pictures there too. Yikes! Yeah. So, what? Um, it says it has to do. Some with disease. Tap water. Yeah. Some sort of disease. Yikes! Ugh. Poor yeah. piggies. <laughs> Poor piggies. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. So, so Shane, you you don't really eat meat anyway, so you kind of Not feel really. like you, you might as well be become vegetarian. Technically, I, I think I am. Last time okay. I, I've eaten any meat was like uh, probably more than two weeks ago. Oh, okay. And I'm I mean like literally no meat. So you um, would pretty easily just not eat meat again at this point. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, if, it's, if it stresses you out, then I can see why um, you wouldn't want to. Um, yeah. In Canada, it's different. It, once there was that out, the big outbreak of mad cow, um, I don't remember, it was like five years ago or something, but when that really big outbreak happened, after that, um, they really cracked down, that's an expression, crack down on regulations for that sort of thing. Um, so it would be, uh, it's very unlikely that I would ever in Canada buy bad beef. You know, it's very unlikely. Yeah. So it's different in, in different countries. Yeah, to crack down on something, it means that they started to regulate very heavily. So before the regulations were like, okay, and then when something bad happened, they really cracked down on them. So they started to focus more on them, an expression. Yeah, on rules. To regulate something um, very intensely is like to crack down on it. So to really focus on regulating something. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, it's not necessarily banning something. Um, it could be, but it would. It usually means they're looking at the rules and kind of fo being much more strict about them than they were before. It's to crack down. Yeah. So there were always regulations for meat. They always were there, but maybe they didn't focus on them closely enough. And then a disease kind of broke through, and once that happened, they started to focus more intensely on the rules. Um, so they started to crack down on them. Um, the, not speculate, um, but let me see if I can define it. So,
Yeah, to enforce strictly servettes, that's good. Yeah. Um, so to just be more strict about about the rules. Um, Servet, what's it like for you in Turkey? In Turkey, usually I think nobody says like I am vegetarian. If you don't eat meat, they just say I don't like meat. Or, I don't eat meat. I eat whatever I find. <laughs> You're a scavenger. <laughs> Can you type this on the chat box? Uh -huh, thanks. I eat meat, I eat... Just only thing, I don't eat cheese at breakfast. I don't like it, but I, I eat different type of cheese, like the cheese that you put on toast or on pizza. Mm -hmm. There are specific kind of cheese that people eat at breakfast here. I don't cream like cheese? it at all. Not cream cheese. Spread it? No. No. no, not cream cheese. Different types. It smells very bad. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, do you know I, a lot of vegetarians? No. No. Nobody says vegetarian here. For example, my sister doesn't eat meat, but she doesn't say I'm vegetarian, but she also eats different type of meats. Mm -hmm. Kind of. It's not okay. popular here to be vegetarian. Okay. Um, and. Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. Hello, everybody. Hello, Samantha. Uh, my name is Ricardo. I'm from Brazil. And I like uh, barbecue, uh, Italian food, Japanese food, uh, pizza. Is this? So, Ricardo, do you eat a lot of meat? Uh, yes, but I'm okay. I am flat. Okay, and do you know any vegetarians? I don't like too much. I like no. potato, fried potato. You know? It's not very healthy, I think. But potatoes? I like potatoes. Yes, yes, fried potatoes. Okay, like French yeah. fries. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're not very healthy because they deep fry them in oil. Yeah, really, really. Fried. Any food that is deep fried. Is usually not good for you. Um, no. So when Manuel was talking about the greasy, fatty American food, a lot of it's deep fried. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's not not very good for you. So potatoes are good for you. It just a potato isn't bad for you, but once you start frying it, then it loses a lot of its healthy qualities. You shouldn't eat like a bunch of potatoes every day. They have a lot of starch. Um, but potatoes here and there, they are a vegetable, and they have lots of potassium and good mm -hmm. nutrients, too. Um, it just depends on how you cook them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Ricardo. Um, okay, thank you so much. Mike, what about you? Have you noticed I just call you Mike because I, I just say your name wrong every time. So <laughs> I've just given up. <laughs> Yeah, it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Hello, everyone. <laughs> but I will say my real name for. Okay, you can introduce yourself, and then I'll, I'll just call you Mike. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Mircha. I'm from Romania. And regarding food, um, I'm not a vegetarian, but in my area, we eat also pork meat or smoked pork meat and smoked smoked meat and I was search searching online that kind of meat. meat so you eat a lot of like pork? Not so often, but from time to time. Okay. So smoked meats, do you eat like sausages, smoked sausages and things like that? Some kind, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a lot of vegetarians where you're from? Not so many as I know, but some people are trying to become vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And would you ever be a vegetarian? I'm not sure. Right. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, Mike. Um, the chat, Wurbling chat working or 
because I was typing earlier some test messages. Um, um there's a new thing where I you have to give it permission. I don't. I know I had to. I don't know if it's it's the same for you guys, but when I first opened the Hangout, it pops up saying "Allow permission," and yeah, I, I think so. Allow, um, but it's working. Like we're we're all typing. But, yeah. It's working. You yeah. know, so, sometimes my verbing um, chat doesn't work properly. Time to time, you know, sometimes yeah. it works. So it depends on, you know, Google Hangout. I don't know. Yeah, it depends on Google. Um, it should be working right now. Uh, Mike, you might just have to refresh and ex and allow verbling. Or over at the left where you have the verbling app, yeah. you exit and then reopen it. It should pop up asking you to allow permission again. Okay. Um, like if you hover, there's a little X in the top corner. So just exit it and then go to View More Apps and open it again, and it should work. Um, and yeah, Anastasia, that's uh, when you say cowsy grass too. <laughs> um, <laughs> depending on what animals are fed, they taste different. Their meat tastes different, right? So you yeah, have yeah. grass-fed cows, grass-fed. Yeah, uh-huh. And then you have other sort cows that eat other sorts of things, and they're farmed that way, right? So they're mm -hmm, farmed yeah. to to eat certain things, and then their meat tastes different. So yeah, interesting. Same with chickens. So chickens will be like grain-fed or oops, grain-fed, or they'll be fed certain things, and then their uh -huh. eggs taste different, <laughs> depending on. What they've been fed on the farm. So the mm -hmm. cheap cheap eggs. When you go and buy a dozen of eggs, a yes. dozen eggs. Sorry, if they're really cheap, then their chickens were probably just farmed in a mass amount with really cheap food. And the mm -hmm. omega eggs and things like that are more expensive mm. because of what they feed them. Right? Um, what's up, my main man? Yeah, Manuel. I can tell you've been in America. <laughs> they sound like my friends, my main man, yeah, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, what up, what up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the uh, American, like that American rappers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will not talk like that. It's not <laughs> you can if you want, it's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a list of 10 reasons why people choose vegetarianism. But before we look at it, I want you guys to see how many reasons you can come up with. So the question is, what reasons do people have for becoming vegetarian? So let's brainstorm together. What are some reasons why people become vegetarian? We've already heard a few, right? Um, like, for example, Shane is worried about the quality of meat. And it takes Terrified. a long time to prepare, right? <laughs> so, quality of meat, prep time. What are some other reasons why people become vegetarian? This is for everyone, so. To live longer, to okay. be healthier, yeah. Uh, so, just, uh, or just maybe just uh, show some pictures. Or just videos about how okay. people uh, kill animals and they just get really disgusting about this one stuff and they stop eating meat. Right. So here's one very popular uh -huh. website, PETA. Public, uh, sorry, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. They mm -hmm. have some very disturbing videos. So if you like meat and you don't want to be turned off, don't watch these videos, right? Um, I've seen a few, and they're they're pretty brutal. So they they show you how animals are treated in some places um, in order to get their meat, and it, yeah, they're they're very. A lot of people who are associated with PETA are pretty intense. Um, not all of them. It's not always like that. But there are some videos on that site that are pretty graphic, and they really want you to understand how animals are maltreated because they don't want you to eat animals and they want you to think about these things, right? So good point, Anastasia. People might um, see animal rights mm -hmm. videos that turn them off of me. And also sometimes if you see like how people make sausages, you know, 
I've seen on the TV uh, in Russia. They put, you know, different stuff, but very, very awkward and strange. After that, you don't want to eat any sausages or any meat, you know. Okay. So, so watch videos about how certain meat products are made, like yeah. sausages and hot dogs too. Yes, I guess so. Yeah, good point. Um, Cause hey, that's Arthur. Me. Hello, Samantha. How are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Um, we're talking about being vegetarian. I don't know if you read the description, but right now I'm just asking you guys, what are some reasons why you think people become vegetarian? We're brainstorming. They become because they pity the animals. Okay, so people yeah. pitying. Medical recommendations. Pitying the Health animals. Problem. And uh, they want to be healthy. You know, I, I even I choose uh, sometimes for weeks I don't eat a meat because of I want to take care of my health. Okay. I eat greens like broccoli, spinach because it's healthy. And you know, in there are some countries that their uh, meat is very natural. But in states, they put a lot of chemical on uh, animals to make them, you know, to faster to uh, become bigger. And that same chemical come to you when you are eating it. Right. So um, people are aware of chemicals used in meat production, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe you will see in the uh, Burger King or King Burger. The meat is like very small, but when you're they cooking, it's becoming is very large because of that chemical. That's a little bit scary, right? Yeah, <laughs> and uh, that that's why in the United States there are lots of fat people because they eat that same meat and the same chemicals come into it mm -hmm. into them. Yep, My very opinion. good point. So. Yeah, it's true. The obesity rates in North America are frightening. <laughs> There's a lot of big people. And it's interesting to me, it's the same in Canada. I mean, Canada and the States are very similar on a lot of things. So it's the same in Canada. And moving here to France, I noticed, <laughs> like, because you get so used to how things kind of are around you that when I moved here, I'm like, wow, everyone's skinny. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> like... Um, on the metro or the subway, you notice that a lot of people can fit into a small area, and I just think to myself, in Canada, <laughs> not this many people would fit, <laughs> because it's true, like, obesity is very, very high because of what people eat, a lot of fast food. Um, mm -hmm. So, okay, so people are aware of chemicals. Cholestro uh, how to say that? Cholesterol or when you're eating a lot of meat. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. About that, uh, when you were eating Sorry, do, I, do I, you have an echo? So can you just make sure you only have the hangout open and use headphones if you can? I guess. Oh, it works. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, Arthur. Yeah, the, about that cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol, yeah. 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 You need to care about it because there are lots of diseases about that cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Hard, yeah. hard attack and. Definitely, yeah. So if you eat too much meat, it can raise your cholesterol, and high cholesterol can lead to heart failure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. What are some other reasons? that? So we've kind of talked about um, health problems, animal rights, contamination. Um, what are some other reasons people might not eat meat? Can you think of anything else? I think it's also because of the perception of health. Mm -hmm. uh, usually around my meat, People who don't eat meat, they are girls. So 
they think meat are unhealthy and vegetables are healthy but in my opinion our body needs oops oh. all kind of nutrition but as soon as you eat at average amount of them in average amount of them if you don't eat too much and also vegetables are not healthy nowadays even vegetables are not healthy because they are using lots of chemicals in mm -hmm. growing vegetables as well so and according to researchers I heard uh, vegetables don't contain too much vitamins nutrition uh, anymore they contain maybe 10 percent of them mm -hmm. so vegetables are also not healthy okay so depending on where you get the vegetables um, if you've washed them because um, a lot of vegetables are sprayed with pesticides do you guys know what pesticides are? yes yes yeah so if you don't wash them properly before you cook them they can make you sick too so yeah not just pest, pest pesticides the vitamins inside the vegetables are less than uh, in the, the nutrient levels are lower yes mm -hmm. lower like 10 percent nowadays they lower say. than lower than what than what they used to be or lower than they used to be in the history maybe okay 50 years earlier or something 50 mm -hmm. years ago or something and also I think usually girls are uh, vegetarians because their body they don't contain too much muscle so they don't burn too much calorie mm -hmm. so meat maybe it may be so uh, and Important. may be so no meat may contain too much energy for them but oh, okay. for men because our bodies have more muscle so it uh, it burns more calorie so also to buy uh, if you are doing like sport, you have mm -hmm. to eat, you have to take protein, so most of the proteins uh, comes from meat. Uh, to eat. Uh, they are what they because of um, a big part of it, like fat. Uh, yeah. They don't burn too much, and if they eat meat, it turns into fat so easily. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. For um, example, yeah. my father says when I, when I don't eat meat, I don't feel full, but my father isn't fat. He's very, he's average, he's normal. It depends on maybe a fast or metabolism. Vegetable doesn't contain too much energy, so when I eat vegetables, one hour later, <laughs> just vegetable, I feel hungry. Yeah. I need to eat bread or different type of things. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, the grains can fill you up. Any really high fiber foods can make you feel a lot more full. So sometimes, I mean, I don't. What's it like for you, Anastasia? Because you are vegetarian. So do you yeah. find if you eat a lot of grains and high fiber foods, does that do you feel full after you eat a meal? Yeah, I do feel uh, full after I eat vegetables, fruit, and uh, grain. You know, just. Br bread with grains uh, yeah uh, cuz like you know maybe if I eat meat for a long time and then s start suddenly eat veg vegetables and fruits if of course I will not uh, feel full but if you know you do it bar step by step and you just um, it's a an habit and now yeah. you just fine with that so uh, never just uh, go just in a rush, you know, to eat, uh, like stop e eating me. I just, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for I start I stop eating uh, beef like and pork, uh, and then I just eat only chicken for mm -hmm. a while, and then I stop eating so chicken. You, yeah. yeah, you can say you you eased yourself into it. Yes, so you eased yourself exactly. into being vegetarian. Rather than okay. just going cold turkey, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So go, going vegetarian cold turkey would mean one day you just stopped eating all meat um, uh -huh. when before you ate a lot of meat, right? So rather, mm -hmm. instead, you readjusted slowly. You yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly, Manuel. Exactly. 
Um, mm -hmm. Okay, and Hazel mentioned a really good point in the chat. There are also religious reasons, right? Why some, some people don't eat meat for religious reasons. Does anyone know much about that? Yeah, about the... Uh, we have a uh, sorbet, uh, I think in Turkey, Turkish people don't eat the pork. Is that it's true? Right, sorry. Yes, you don't, you don't eat pork, and it has to be uh, even. Oh, it has to be uh, the. Uh, yes, basically, we don't eat pork. <laughs> you love you love pork, but you don't eat. Yeah, it's right. We love. Yeah, some people love, but uh, you know, for the law, they don't eat. About religion. Uh, actually, like yeah. here in Kazakhstan, um, Kazakhs people they also do not eat pork because they just think that pigs are dirty animal. You know that's why they do not eat um, pork. But I was just really shocked knowing that Korean people, South Korean people, eat pork on a daily basis. You know, for them it's like you know just fine. And at the same time, they eat dogs. Eat dogs? Yeah, Korean yeah. people. Terrible. South Korean. <laughs> yes, no. Wow. I'm serious. Really? Yes, I do. Because, like, you know. I know that. No, and also when it was like, uh, so, um, was a USSR before, uh, Kazakhstan was a part of it. And some uh, people from Korea was deported to Kazakhstan. And now here, we have some restaurants, maybe just they do prepare dogs illegally, you know. But they just eat dogs here, even in Kazakhstan, Korean people. And I'm kind of, you know, just, it's, for me, it's, it's too weird, you know. But they just uh, eat dogs. I never try and I won't do that. I probably would not try that. Yeah, but you will be more shocked. Kazakh people eat horse, horses. Oh, uh, many yeah. Americans, yeah, many Americans when came to Kazakhstan, just my friends, they just like, you know, horses, ho horses are just like domestic animals, like dogs, you know, you don't eat in America and Canada, like, but here people eat horses. So you can say people eat horse meat. It sounds horse a little bit meat. better than saying okay. people eat horses. Horses, <laughs> okay. Say, which, it's true. But when you, when you say people eat horses, I think of like people going out into the wild and like like eating a horse. It's like ah, so you think it sounds yeah. a little bit better. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Same with dogs. It sounds better to say people eat dog meat. Dogs meat. Okay. People because like just, it gives you the mental image, you know, that someone's like going out, like you know. Um, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> just Kazakh people eat dog meat. Or, oops, horse meat. Horse yeah, meat. It sounds a little better to say that. Yeah, way. I know. Um, okay, okay, and I, just gonna pause. I, I want us to take a quick look at this list. Um, we're not going to actually read through the details of it. Just a second. I just want to read the headlines. So this is their list that I this list that I found. Ten reasons why people choose vegetarianism. So one is religious beliefs. Some people have dietary restrictions. Many religions, sorry, religious texts promote vegetarianism. And not only vegetarianism, as we are saying, some religions don't allow you to eat pork or you have to only eat kosher meat, um, things like that. Number two was personal preference. Mm -hmm. People who do not like the taste of meat might choose being vegetarians. Those who eat seafood are not true vegetarians. So that was that other word we were using. Um, what was it? A pectitarian or something? Um, so personal preference, maybe you just don't like meat, right? Um, cost. In many countries, people can't afford to eat meat. It can be very expensive. So you can save a lot of money on a vegetarian diet. Number four was environmental reasons. The space needed to raise cows and livestock is immense, so you need a lot of space 
and some vegetarians argue that you should use it for crops because it can feed more people than livestock or animals. Um, number five is health problems. Some people have trouble digesting meat. Also, you, you might worry about high cholesterol, like Arthur pointed out. So health reasons. Um, animal rights is number six. We talked about this one too, right? So vegetarians are usually animal lovers, or often animal lovers, and they disagree with the use of animals for feed and complain about how livestock are treated. So you might worry about animal rights. Um, like Shane pointed out, we've got contamination as a factor. Have you ever had food poisoning? Contaminated food meat. can turn you off meat forever, it says. Okay, so you, if you're worried about your food being contaminated, that might turn you off of eating meat. Um, peer pressure is number eight. So maybe if your family, um, your boyfriend or girlfriend is vegetarian, you might feel pressured to also be vegetarian. Number nine is your family. Some people are born into vegetarian families. So if your whole family is vegetarian or vegan, chances of you being vegetarian are much higher, right? You're much more likely to be vegetarian if you grew up that way. Same way as you're more probably more likely to eat meat if you grew up that way. Um, weight concerns. Vegetarians are less likely to be overweight just because of calories, right? So we've got, we've talked, we mentioned a lot of these, but not all of them, right? We mentioned religious belief, personal preference. We didn't talk about cost or environmental reasons. So maybe we'll talk about those now. Um, we did mention health problems, animal rights, contamination. We didn't really mention peer pressure um, or family. We did talk about weight concerns. So let's take a look at um, cost environmental reasons peer pressure so what do you guys think about these factors um, is meat very expensive where you're from can do you see the environmental reasons as being you know um, valid what, what do you think about these three points actually here in Kazakhstan um, meat cost the same as maybe vegetables okay. in uh, winter time. Okay, so it depends on the season? Yeah, it depends on the season, because like if it will be uh, autumn, uh, you know, it will be uh, the veg uh, vegetables and fruit uh, will be cheaper. Mm -hmm. So, and meat will be just more expensive. But for example, right now in winter time, uh, sometimes even vegetables are more expensive than meat because like uh, in Kazakhstan they do not grow so much uh, vegetable vegetables and fruits at uh, winter time almost we have from China which is not so good because China use many pesticides pesticides right pesticides pesticides mm -hmm. That's what I want to say. Okay. Okay. What does everyone else think? In France, um, meat is much more expensive than vegetables. Um, in Canada, it's the same way. Meat is more expensive. For example, um, here, beef is like a kilo of beef is like eighteen dollars or something. But if chicken is like three dollars. Yeah. So certain types of meat are cheaper. Yes. But if you buy, for example, pepper in winter, a kilo of pepper is like more expensive than chicken, like right. five dollars or five dollars, a little bit more expensive. But because it's not be, uh, it does it cannot be grown in winter normally in normal conditions. So that's why it's more expensive. But normally, vegetables are cheaper than meat. Right, so it depends on um, when a vegetable or a type of meat is in season, meaning it's being grown, yes. um, or if it's out of season and it's harder to to import or export. Um, so if it's out of season, it's probably going to be more expensive, right? Or you just can't find it. I know in, in Canadian grocery stores, if something's out of season, you might just not be able to get it at all. It's like, expensive. Yeah, or like corn on the cob 
when corn is out of season, you just can't really find it in the grocery store, or you find it packaged very, and it's very, very expensive, and it doesn't look fresh, so maybe you just don't want it. <laughs> so it depends on the season. Um, but I would agree with Servet, it's the same for where I'm from. Generally speaking, meat is more expensive. Yeah. No, but I think instead it's the opposite. I think the <coughs> meat is cheaper than veget vegetables. Oh, yeah, really? no natural. Yeah, yes. usual. Uh, yeah, it's, if you want to buy it in the uh, some stores where just only selling the organic, yeah, maybe they're gonna be expensive than the vegetable. Mm -hmm. But usually, the meat cost is two ninety nine, three ninety nine, but the uh, greens like five, six dollars. Really? Mm -hmm. Where are you yeah. shopping? <laughs> <laughs> are they organic I just, you know, vegetables? I just bought the. I just bought a few days ago uh, from LA uh, broccoli, mm -hmm. and I gave about eight dollars. Just for uh, four parts, for like these heads. parts, of, yeah. Uh, we call them heads of broccoli. Heads of broccoli, and I bought one package of uh, spinach. I gave about six dollars, but I, uh, I it was just three, uh, three plates. You can mm -hmm. just from that part that uh, spinach cook three plates, but I bought a. Beef meat, it was two ninety nine. Okay. For one pound. For ground beef? Ground beef? No, not ground. It's for, it's just uh, okay. without bone. Okay. Just hmm. not brown. Not ground. Okay. Um we have maybe three minutes, so one more question. If you're not vegetarian, would you ever become vegetarian? Never, no. Never. Okay, <laughs> Manuel, never. So Despite all of these factors, you probably would still never be a vegetarian. Never say never. <laughs> never say never. <laughs> Just never say never. I think that I don't have uh, problems with my weight, and also the I try to get the uh, how do you say the whole um, natural or the or organic organic, organic meats. And those meats are uh, more fed healthy, fed healthy, fed healthy uh, seed, seeded, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I try to eat that meat because it's better for you. And I don't eat meat all the time. I eat lots of green veggies in the uh, salads and such. So when I eat that, I can be healthy and still. That's food. Okay. So if you if you keep up with your exercise and things, um, your body burns calories more quickly because your metabolism. Um, um, what's the word called? You, when you have a higher metabolism. Metabolism. Thank you. So when you have a high metabolism, you your body can burn fats, fats. more quickly. So if you have a high metabolism and you're very healthy, then you can eat more, right? <laughs> so um, you can eat more meat and your body will burn off the, the bad parts of what you're eating and keep the good proteins and things. So depending on how healthy you are, that can be a big factor to whether or not you can stay healthy and eat meat. I would never be vegetarian. Yeah, but you need I'm with to... Manuel. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I, I wouldn't be able to. I. Yeah, but you know, you must know your boards. I mean, you you can't all time eat pork or beef. Yeah. Sometimes you need to take a break and stop eating the meat and eat just the vegetables for a few weeks to you know clear your organism. Yeah, no, that's a good point too, Arthur. And a lot of people do that every like once in a while. Like you'll meat. take a week or <laughs> yeah, you've said a week or two weeks where you just yeah. you eat clean. You can say. Yeah. You just eat, now I stop mm -hmm. eating meat for. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare for this class to talk about no, vegetarians. No, I started two days before. <laughs> I started two days before this class. <laughs> or because no, of I, the I'm Easter. just kidding. Yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, some people, when the Eastern is is closer, 
they give up eating meat, at least mm -hmm. how they are doing here in Romania, some people, according to their religion, belief. Yeah, religious not, beliefs are a big factor, definitely. Yeah, they're not eating meat about 40 days. Okay. Okay, sorry guys, um, to cut it short, but I have to go. So I'm teaching the next class. It's a creative writing class, so come join us if you want to write. I just gave you my Facebook link. I'll paste it again. Um, but if you want to keep talking about this, you can start a thread on my Facebook, and we'll talk some more. Okay, so okay. thanks for coming, everyone. Thank it's nice you. to see you guys. Hopefully okay, bye. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks for great class.